Applying grip tape is really simple to do. Now there's a lot of different methods out there, but there's usually a step missed here or there, or it's not very thorough. So what I'm gonna do is show you the way that I've been doing it for many years, and it includes how to lay down the grip tape really good without getting any air bubbles, how to score it correctly, and how to cut it really easily. So, check it out. Peel off the paper backing and grab both ends. Hold the grip tape square over the board and make sure you're gonna cover it from side to side and all the way down. Your other fingers will let you know if you're going to cover it from end to end. Put one end down pretty good so it doesn't accidentally go to one side. With your opposite hand, rest the fingers that are not holding the grip tape on the edge of the deck to hold the grip tape up high. When first applying, you might need to hold the grip tape up higher. Now here's the trick to not getting air bubbles. Peel or angle the grip tape towards you, and then pat or slide your hand across. Angling the grip tape allows you to apply from one side to the other as you go end to end. The reason for doing this is that the deck has concave. If you were to lay the grip tape down square or flat, it would create a big air pocket in the center. And then, when you pat the grip tape down, it would create air bubbles all over. Perfect. I got no air bubbles. The next step is scoring the grip tape. Some people use a file. I've never once used a file out of the hundreds, probably over a thousand boards that I've grip taped. Now all you want to do is just use whatever, an old screwdriver, a file you can use, or just something with a blunt edge, an old butter knife if you want it, or even just the back side of a razor blade. I've used that before. Now you just want to score it giving a quick and hard line. You don't want to go over it a bunch of times. The reason is you're just going to give it that thick white line, which is just going to give more space for the uh, razor blade to move on, and you're just going to get a wavy edge. The thinner the line, the straighter the edge is going to be. So that's all you want to do. So here, this is how I did it. Simple enough. Didn't do a whole bunch of scoring, didn't have to file it all the way down to the board. Just really quick, thin line, that's all you need. When scoring where the nose or the tail meets the concave, the grip tape will have resistance. Take a razor blade and slice from the edge of the deck to the edge of the grip tape, and then rescore. I like to lift the grip tape up around the edges, that way my hands don't stick and it makes it a lot easier to cut. Take a close look at how I'm holding the blade. It's not moving side to side because I've got my finger rested on the blade and the edge of the board. That way it's going to have a nice clean cut on the edge of the grip tape. Now just hold that blade nice and steady as you come around that turn and just go straight down the side. What I'm going to do now is take the scraps of the grip tape and just fold over the corners. That way it won't stick to my hand. And what I'm going to do is just roughen up the edge of the grip tape that's on the board. That way the grip tape won't peel up for any reason. And it'll just make the whole thing look really nice and clean. Now that was pretty easy, wasn't it? If you still have air bubbles underneath the grip tape, just take your razor blade, poke a hole through the center, and just squeeze out the air. It should flatten it right out. Next thing I'm going to do is take a nail. You can use whatever you got and poke holes through the grip tape. That way I can mount my trucks and go skate. The last thing I like to do is take a screwdriver and poke it into the truck mounting holes to get rid of the grip tape that's in there. That way it'll make it easier to put hardware in later. Now you know how to grip tape a board in just three easy steps. It's just how you lay it down without getting air bubbles and scoring it and just getting that nice thin line and then holding the razor blade really still so you get a nice clean edge. Now all I gotta do is just put trucks and wheels on this board and I can go skate.